everyone and thanks for joining us. Let's get right to it. The wildfire haze has been impacting us for multiple days now and we have seen many photos like this. The hazy sunrises and sunsets. Absolutely gorgeous, but not necessarily great for overall health. An air quality alert uh, is in place. It went into effect at noon today and it's going to continue until 9 o'clock on Friday morning. And that includes all of these uh, pinkish orange, let's call it salmon colored counties. Uh, it does include Grand Forks and Fargo as well. North Dakota does not issue air quality alerts. That's why it's only for the northern half of Minnesota, but still a ways to go with that. So here's a look at our wildfire smoke index. It is expected to gradually improve throughout the day tomorrow, but unfortunately we think it's going to get a little worse before it gets better. That's why we have raised a first alert weather day for our Thursday and our Minnesota counties are expected to be dealing with the lingering smoke and haze for a little longer. But on satellite and radar this afternoon, we do have some beneficial rainfall, even though it is few and far between. Here's a zoom into Stutzman County, where we are seeing some thunderstorms just to the north and northeast of the Woodworth area and off to the west of Pingree and Buchanan. Uh, they've been fairly slow moving and trailing within the same region in the uh, northwestern part of Stutzman County. So hopefully bringing at least a little bit of beneficial rainfall. The under thunder showers and thunderstorms are in central North Dakota, not expected to become severe. Right now in Fargo, 81 degrees with those hazy skies. Wind is out of the north at 12 miles per hour, ushering in some of that haze. And sunset tonight will be at 919, currently 84 degrees across the river in Moorhead. 80 degrees with hazy skies as well in Grand Forks, where we saw a few minutes ago that visibility down to only two miles. Wind is out of the north northwest at seven miles per hour and sunset will be at 924. Temperatures across the valley are warmest where you see the dark red shading. That's where we're seeing those lower 80s. Uh, northwestern Minnesota seeing lots of mid to upper 70s, 75 at this hour in Langdon and 78 in Devil's Lake. Now in your hour by hour forecast, we'll see a few lingering showers and thunderstorms again, non severe, but they will start to fade away as we head into sunset. So very little, if any beneficial rainfall from this system throughout the overnight hours, we clear things up a few lingering clouds and of course some lingering wildfire haze tomorrow morning, waking up to temperatures mostly in the upper fifties across our Minnesota counties to some lower sixties across eastern North Dakota. We'll see a few clouds from time to time tomorrow and can't rule out a few sprinkles as well. This model I think is just a little on the robust side as far as popping up those showers and thunderstorms, but can't rule out a few and temperatures uh, very similar to today. Many of us in the 80s, potentially a couple degrees warmer as that haze starts to thin out for the second half of our day and hopefully allows our atmosphere to warm up a little bit more. Temperatures tomorrow across North Dakota, lots of 80s and in Minnesota, just a touch cooler with those lower 80s as the haze is expected to linger just a little bit longer. In your seven day planner, we warm up as we head into Friday, 89 degrees with some lingering haze, especially the first half of our day. But then Stacy, the heat is on. We're looking at 90s from here on out. Wednesday, we have already gone ahead and issued another first alert weather day around 99 degrees. Some folks could see triple digit heat and that could be just the start of the heat wave. Oh boy. All right. Thanks so much, Summer. <laughs> Only a